What's going on YouTube? This is 3 Inferno. So I'm here to talk to you guys today about Chaos Dragons. Now Chaos Dragons won another YCS, uh, won Philly. So here's talking about it. Why is it so good and you know why can't people stop it? So a lot of the reasons are because dragons are freaking big, alright? They're like um, 2800 Red Eyes Metal, Light Pulsar's 2500 um, Dark Flares 24 or 25, you know, all of them monsters are really freaking big. So, um, that's one of the big deals. Some people are like, oh yeah, throw a big, a lot of big monsters out on the field, and yeah, if you don't win that turn, you lose, right? That's what a lot of other decks can do. Not so. Dragons have an inherent ability to defend themselves, as in, uh, Light Pulsar. It's not a real defense, um, as it is a safety mechanism. Where if Light Pulsar leaves the field, then special Red Eyes or a Dark Flare from the Graveyard, even if they leave, go to the Graveyard at the same time, which is um, pretty cool. Um, a lot of people are trying to side Soul Take or main even Soul Takers to get rid of Light Pulsar because Light Pulsar will miss timing if you activate Soul Taker. Because what happens is um, you activate Soul Taker, you destroy the monster, then they gain a thousand life points. Um, but when you, you gain a th they gain a thousand life points, they miss timing to activate Light Pulsar's effect. So Soul Taker is actually a pretty good card. People are trying to use it a lot. Um, Chaos Dragons are also really good because they can they most likely don't run any traps. So what happens is your opponent is like, oh crap, my Heavy Storm and two or three MSTs is now useless. Okay, so they're like crap. So if they go first and they set their MST and then they can never use it, they can't drop gores, they can't do a lot of plays. They're just like, man, this MC sucks. Alright? So, that's another reason why Chaos Dragons are really good. And third reason is just because they're really flexible. In the way that, even if you have, like, Skill Drain or, or well, maybe not Skill Drain, but, like, just say Back Rows. They have Heavy Storm, char um, Charge for Rikos or Lylas. And they, you can't just, you just can't stop all of their monsters. Meaning, even if you have four Back Rows, so what? They have five monsters in their hands. So, they go remove. You bombless. Remove warning. Remove warning. Remove bombless. Oh, remove again. And then you ran out of back roads. Okay? Like, that's one of the really main reasons why dragons are winning so much. It's just because they're just gonna be in your face, like, oh, this is what I have. Can you stop it? No? Then good game. Alright? Now, how to counter chaos dragons? Chaos dragons are really in, um, you know, I was really debating on playing monarchs right now. Um, because of so many dragon decks and um, rabbit decks. I mean, Monarchs are still good against rabbits. I mean, yeah, rabbits because you have triple econ and soul exchange and creature swap and things like that. So I was really thinking of running uh, Monarchs. Also, another choice would probably be um, uh, Gemini, uh, excuse me, Elemental Heroes. Um, just because I really think like Hero Blast it disrupts a lot of plays. Well, not as much as for. Um, for dragons, but still, and then Gemini Spark also miss, makes Light Pulsar miss timing because you draw a card. Um, I draw a card when I activate um, Gemini Spark, so it destroys a monster. Then when that destroys Light Pulsar, I draw a card, and so Light Pulsar misses timing. Um, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the ruling, and I've asked a few people, and that uh, that's what they say is the ruling as well. Just like Soul Taker, when they gain 1,000, they miss timing to activate Light Pulsar's effect. So, Chaos Dragons are a force to be reckoned with. You should always be siding um, things like Bombless Trap Hole, um, even Dimensional Prisons, um, and among other things. So, and if you're running something like Rabbit, you can side Macro, Cosmos, or even Main It. Uh, sort of somewhat like Jojo Orlando's build of Rabbit, where he had two Bombless and two Macro mained. It's a pretty interesting concept that I was actually thinking about myself. But um, I still don't know what to play for Nationals. We'll see how it goes. I already have the days off, so I'm just waiting for cheaper tickets before I go buy them. Uh, that's it. All right. So anyway, let me know. Let me uh, let me know what you guys think about Chaos Dragons and how to counter them best. All right. Thanks, guys. Three Inferno signing out.